Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video, I will teach you how you can look up an image based on a condition like I have the names over here and a corresponding image is here. So if I change the name to Superman, see the image changes. If I select Iron Man, the image changes and if I select Hulk, we get the image for Hulk along with his mark. So this is a cool trick which I'm going to teach you right away can be done in just two minutes. Would you like to learn it? Of course, I believe. And let me do a spell correction over here. <laughs> All right. So I have the names of the students over here. Superman, his marks and his image. Iron Man, his marks and his image. Paris Hilton, her marks and her image. Sheila, Indian heartthrob, uh, her marks and her image. And Hulk, of course, got the least marks, was busy smashing things up and his image. So now I have created a formula wherein if using this drop down, if I select a name, then their marks and their relevant picture automatically shows up. How did I do it? Well, I used a drop down list to create this drop down. All right. I used index and match formula to go ahead and look up these results. And to get this image, I used the index and match formula plus the name range option that is available in here i'm going to teach you to do that right away so let me delete this and let me put the name over here superman all right or let me put this aspect over here let's do this so i'm going to copy this over here so now we will apply this we look up sorry let's look up so for the names, I will apply a drop down, all right, for which I'll go to data, data validation, list, and for the source, I will select these names. Let's enter, and my drop down list is ready, all right. For the marks and the image, we need to apply a index and match. It's very simple. I've explained index and match in great detail in my, of my videos. In fact, more than 12 videos I have made on index and match, but in this one, we'll keep it really simple. So I'll use index to look up the marks. All right. I will press F4 to lock it. Comma for the row number, which is it's asking me now, I'll use the match formula and I will look up the name of the student. I will press F4 to lock it again because when we drag this down for Iron Man or for Paris Hilton, for Sheila, for Hulk, then we need it locked. Comma and the lookup array would be the names. All right. I'll press F4 to lock it again. If you're using a laptop, I'm sure they would be uh, the, the F keys are multifunctional, so they would be F N button somewhere near the uh, space on your space button on your laptop so press that fn button and the f4 key then you'll be able to lock it but this is a question i usually get when i ask people to press f4 to lock the range and i press zero to do an exact match and i close the bracket and i press enter so i am getting the marks for see iron man 99 let me just give it a format similar to this one so i am copying the format from it all right now for the image part, all right. First of all, you have to copy any image, all right. Just take any image. Press a control C, a control V, okay. Now, once you have the image placed, okay, there's a reason why I did it. Then you need to click on this cell, all right. See, the image is over here, the cell is over here. I need to click on this cell, all right. And I need to go to, sorry, and I need to go to formulas. From there, I need to go to define name and I define it a name. So it can be of your choice. Picture lookup. Picture underscore lookup. There cannot be no. There cannot be any spaces between the words and the formula that I would be requiring over here would be the same formula that I wrote over here. All right. So I can rewrite it or I can copy it. So better to copy it. So I'm pressing F2 
to go into the edit mode and I'm copying this formula control C. I've copied the formula. I go to define name again and from here and I click over here and go to define name and I did picture lookup picture underscore lookup and in the refers to section you type in the formula all right now the only aspect is currently it was bringing in the marks that's the reason why we had indexed b column b so now we want to index the images column so instead of b i will make it c that's the only thing that we need to do make it c click ok put the image back over here okay and now right click the image or simply just click the image and over here in the formula section type in the name of the name range that you just gave picture lookup picture lookup and see it immediately changed to iron man I'm doing the placement again. So if I now change it to Paris Hilton or Sheila, the image changes. See, very easy. Let me just repeat this process. So we apply index and match over here. I copy this formula. Sorry. I press F2. My mouse is playing games with me. Control C. I press escape to move out. Then over here, I click and I go to define names and I gave it a name correct I, if I can check that name in name manager I gave it this name picture lookup and in the refers to section I pasted the formula and instead of B I made it C all right I made it C then I copied one image over here and I clicked over here and linked it to the name range that's it very very simple in fact this file with all these images and the formula built in is available for download from my website myelesson.org this is the site you can go to the site the link is available in the description below and from here you can download it the steps are also mentioned over here you can download it i also explain how it works and if you like this video you can click on the like button if you have a question you can mention in the comments and I will answer it for you. And please do subscribe to my channel. The description for the download section is also mentioned over here itself. So I hope you like this video. See you in the next video.